welcome back guys in this uh, video we are going to learn the basic syntax of all those uh, id and element that we can use in our styling and uh, we'll look into the color concept how we can utilize the color to style our uh, div elements and other elements or body or something like that and we will also see how we can uh, use border or uh, and uh, border to our elements so let's get started so in the last video we saw uh, we actually changed this background uh, using this color so how actually the color works before i look into the color i want to uh, tell you something i want to show you something that how this style sheet works then if this body is predefined like this div is already predefined so in the html uh, there were uh, people used to use this div elements now there are people and developers uses section tag there are also a lot of tags who header footer like this aside so you can look uh, on internet in google these predefined tags are a lot of predefined tags and it's not compulsory it's if you want you can simply use div elements and it's fine it's it's almost fine it, there's no problem in using only div but how we can actually utilize this element and style this div you can write div like this as you typed body and styled it but the problem will be there is only one body here but you can write down many divs here okay one for header one for footer one for main content there can be a lot of divisions here and if you put some styling here like background color then what will happen is each and every elements of div will have the same styling and that will create problem for you in that case what we need to do is we need to assign a class to this division let's call it header let's call it footer actually class okay. now this is actually division but also uh, we have we are also giving a name class name as header so we can style it separately we don't need to use div uh, tag or whatever say you div element to you don't need to write div like this if you are using single div in whole html file then yes you can write like this but it is not a good practice to do you need to actually assign a class and that is good another important thing is and that id so some people can ask why we don't uh, use id for styling well uh, there's no predefined uh, rules for that but you can use id for styling but we use id as a identifier means uh, like something identification for as a name understand it as a name header means this is a header means there will not be another header so it's a kind of unique stuff and we don't use it for styling we use it for something else we don't use it for styling we use it just for recognizing uh, an element or a part of the section in your website okay so here just rename it something else now here you can see header if you want to style your uh, using if you want to style using 
ID then you can also style but it is not recommended it's not good thing to do so I will show you how you can do you can use has head and write whatever you want so when you uh, style your ID you start with the has then uh, ID name if you want to style a class then you start with a dot and the class name okay so we want to style this header class means this division so what we will do here is we will type uh, header dot header now give a background color to it add ccc happening here is so why there is no some no changes here the reason behind that we have nothing in our header so let's type something welcome to CSS for beginners now you can see the background color here okay so how actually the color works let's, let me type some code i'm gonna type a red color okay so i will type it like uh, a green color maybe let's type a green color then how we can type a green color using code then one one two two uh, C two two. See it is green. Just by uh, typing code, I uh, I ended up as a green color. Then how I knew that this will come as green? Because look at this coding. One one C C and two two. First two element is red second two element is green and third two element third actually two element is blue so every colors is start from a uh, one to nine a to f it's, it will start it from one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. 1, actually this should be 0, started from 0. So this is the lightest part and this is the darkest part, okay? So I wanted to give a green color. So I actually dark, did dark all other colors, means this is R, this is G and this is B, okay? this is R and G B so I actually wanted to dark all this and gave a color uh, bright color of the green part that's why it is green if you want to make it blue you can dark it and you can give it light color to the blue change it here see this is how we can understand the color concept I tried my best to actually show you how it works you can use color uh, code like this it's one for one element for each color like one F one actually this doesn't work the way it should be it's working here so you can use it like that there's no problem but if you want to be uh, very accurate 
then use all these six letters and uh, you can provide a better color in that like two two three three four four you can also use like this a f one this is a mixture of green and red so it came out like this mm. I think I hope you understood the color concept here if you want to change the color of your text you can use color and give a uh, color like white you can write white or you can just use hashtag ff or ff ff6 both are same your ways how you write but it doesn't look good you simply provide a sim uh, good color like gray or a little bit darker yeah. thank you for watching in the next tutorial we will see how we can move on to the depth and we'll see a lot of things like uh, borders margins how we can use uh, backgrounds how we can use image as a background we'll see all these stuff so thank you for watching have a nice day